All right, here we go again. I've made several attempts at making this video. And either of the attempts I was making, well, either it had to do with the lighting wasn't very good, so there's like bright spots on light, not so bright spots of the car, or I just messed up on something, or there was actually one time, the first video I made, where it came out absolutely textbook perfect to my standards. Best walk around video I probably made of a car on my first try. That's unheard of. But I could watch the video just fine on my camcorder. I want to try to hook it up to the computer. It came up in some foreign file that I never even heard of before. And <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, I couldn't watch onto the computer, nonetheless, make it work on YouTube. So, I'm starting over with my old camcorder. The quality isn't as good and uh, does have auto lighting adjustment thing. So, I brought my iPad just in case. This doesn't work. Here it is, my new 2005 Hyundai Accent. Quick walk around. It does have a little bit of hit and run damage. Kind of a strange mark. I wonder what they hit. Those headlights are getting a little bit yellowed. I don't know, buy, order a kit to restore them. More of a haze than a yellow. Has almost brand new mushrooms all the way around. Has these cool little marker lights all the way around too. I've always liked those for some reason. Brakes have an awesome feel to them, meaning they work good, of course. It's missing the rear wiper arm for some reason. I don't know if it was just stolen or they took it off because they couldn't see that well or what, but I'm gonna go, I'll have to see if I can find one. I found one actually from a 2000, but I'm not sure if it'll work on a 2003. They're only listing it to a 2002. Did I say 2003? I meant to say 2005. Anyways, let's start with the trunk, or the bonnet as they call it in Europe, I think. I'll talk to them later. Back in the pocket it goes. Anyways, here's the boot area. It's actually, well, I don't know. I want to say it's a good size. I never owned a two-door hatchback, though. Yeah, it has a full-size spare tire, which I don't think it was here originally because here's the tie-down and it doesn't screw in. So, and there's a, there's a little bit of rust around the edges of the tire, which tell me that probably Maybe it was used at some point. The other side, I took it out and looked at it, and there's like no paint scrapes where the lug nuts screw and it rubs. So, I don't know. The tire's kind of rotten. I wouldn't really use it unless it was an emergency. Tools are a spare, tools are a spare tire jack, and there's the jack, of course. It's a nice, convenient light back here. Don't know if I said this, but it does have brand new Michelin's. Like, brand spanking new. Nice door panel. Nice clean seats. The carpet was clean when I got it. So is the back, but people have ridden in the back and passed their seat and, of course, driver's seat. Five speed. Has a good sounding radio for being just a factory Hyundai radio. AC works amazing. And of course you have to have the iPod hookup. And here's the factory owner's manual. Surprised I got that, but I did. 
there's my iPad. Let's start it up. Give it the full experience of seeing the engine. I love that chiming sound. Absolutely love it. It's too bad they did away off it. One thing I really like is how they... I don't know, that isn't part of the headlight, it's just the actual running light. I like how they kind of built it into the headlight. So yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, there is. Going to stick a new cylinder head. Now the story behind this car this is why I condemned one of my videos, is because I didn't save as part of it. The reason why this car, the, the, customer, the person that owned this car took it into this, this guy's shop I bought the car from, and saying it doesn't run, they condemned it as a broken timing belt. Bent all the valves. So the guy bought the car from the customer, he fixed the car and he put it on the market. So it has a valve job and new casting. New valves, of course. That's how I got it. That looks like it's fun to replace. Master Sony right by the airbox. Most of the airbox isn't that hard to get off. Alrighty, well, there's my car. Hope the video isn't too long, and yeah, well, maybe I'll post again some other day, but I don't be for a while, unfortunately. Just, there's not really a whole lot to post about, so see ya.